Hello and welcome to Casa del We Go East. Today we'll be giving you a tour of our Japanese apartment. So come on in. This here is the Genkan, and this is the first feature you'll see in any Japanese home. Traditionally, you will take off your shoes before entering the house. After entering the home, you can put your shoes on this lovely shoe rack. Or you can store them in the Genkan if the shoe rack is full. When you step into the house, you'll see our lovely Moomin mat. This was actually a present from Ashley's old Japanese teacher. Thank you, Yuko. Thank you, Yuko. We keep this emergency bag right by the door as well, in case of any emergency, like earthquakes, things like that. It's got important things in, we could just grab it and go. Thankfully, we've not had to use it yet. But if we do, we know where it is. The next thing you'll see in our Japanese apartment is this bad boy. This is our washing machine, and as it's Japanese, it doesn't have hot water function, which is a bit strange coming from the UK where everyone washes at like 90, 60 degrees, whatever. It doesn't even have a drying function, so we hang our clothes on the balcony. Oh wait, Theo, what's that? Oh, this? This piece of shit? No, this actually says wash it. This is our, our laundry basket. Where did we buy it? We bought it from Daiso, which is a 100 yen store in Japan. But that was 500 yen for the quality. Yeah. that. That quality right there. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, moving on. Follow me to the next room. Through this doorway here is our shower room. Now in Japan, showers are a bit unusual because they are typically a wet room. I know this is quite an expensive feature in a Western home, but in Japan it's traditional to have a shower and then go into the bath after your shower. Come take a look. This is quite a typical Japanese shower room. And look at the bath. It's quite strange, a Japanese bath. This is to keep it hot. You can put the lid on the bath to keep it hot for longer. You obviously can't lie down in it. How do you feel? I don't know. I've been in a half bath. Half bath? Half bath. And we don't have ventilation in this bathroom, so we have a doorway to a, a mini balcony. And these sounds are outside. Now, through this doorway is our toilet, the lavatory, the water closet. Now, in Japan, you may have heard that most toilets have lots of modern features. However, we don't, unfortunately. However, our toilet does have one interesting feature that you may not have seen coming from a Western home. Very Japanese toilet feature, isn't it? Let's take a look. Let's have a look. So as you can see, it's just a regular toilet. We don't have any special buttons or anything. But look at this. Ta -da. So basically what happens is when you flush the toilet, clean water comes out here for you to wash your hands with. And then that water fills up the toilet. So it's reusing water. Good for the environment. Yeah. And it looks like this. <laughs> Now, whilst you could wash your hands on the toilet sink, putting soap down the old system is apparently bad for them. So we wash our hands here at this mirror sink area. Right, next, let's go into our living room kitchen area. We actually have a 2LDK apartment, which means two rooms plus a living room, dining room, kitchen area. Okay, first let's look at this. We've got our nice beer flag. Also from Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. Here we keep our bins. These are only two, but we actually normally have about like four or five, because if you look here on our fridge, there are many different sorts of bins in Japan and you have to sort them out correctly. They're very um, strict about it. As you can see, we have an absolutely tiny fridge. It's so small. This freezer is really small. It means I have to go shopping like every day because otherwise it's too much food to fit in there. 
Welcome to the cooking area. This is our kitchen. It's pretty small. This is all the space that's like dedicated to the kitchen. It's pretty small. If you come and have a look. We have our food cupboards. And these ones are sort of our like, where we keep our dishes, things like that. This is obviously normally full of dishes all the time. So there's no room to prepare anything there. Sink, obviously. Here is where we keep our spices and cooking stuff. And then we have two hobs and a fish grill oven. This is quite typical in a Japanese apartment to have a fish grill oven. It's actually really useful. We just put like fish in, leave it for a bit, and then it's, it's cooked. Or it's like a toast. Yeah, oh yeah, that's what we use as a toaster. <laughs> The floor is really squeaky and as you can see already there's like no space to prepare any food so we had to buy a pretty big table and here's where we do all our cooking and eating and we also had to like get a little stool for our kettle. This is our nice Ikea table, this is where we eat food, we have it pointing out of the window so we get a nice view and if you can hear some noise that's because we have our air conditioner right here and it's on because it's boiling. Over here we have our makeup, or our my makeup section and like mirror stuff. Behind the mirror I like jammed all my actual stuff so it doesn't normally look this nice. This mirror I think is also from Ikea. Maybe a second hand store? No, we got some second street. This cost uh, 1,000 yen. Most of the stuff we bought in for our house is either from Ikea or it's all like second hand. That's where we've got like not matching curtains and things like that. I like these ones, the lemons. Zesty. Yeah, kind of matches with this. This is to ward off mosquitoes, apparently. If air sort of flows through this, something happens and the mosquitoes go away. Yeah, I've just opened it. We've also got our aircon remote. And you know what? I actually can't read it at all. I can read like one bit of it. That oh. says wind. I'm just like, please work. Hello there. This isn't a casting couch, don't worry. This is, as you may have recognised if you've watched our videos before, this is our little studio setup we have here. Two plants, both from Ikea, um, and this is where the magic happens. Uh, the nice coffee table that we got from a second-hand store, this is where you will find Theo editing for hours on it. Doing all the work. Yep, doing all the work. I'm the talent, you're the... Talent? Yeah, yeah. You... No talent. What? I'm Britain's Got Talent, you're Britain's Got No Talent. I'm Simon Cowmate. This is our nice, uh, very cheap sofa. <laughs> it's like a camp bed, it's so bad. Does and the job. also um, my nice Japanese cookbook that was a present from Thea. I've only made a couple of things. I tried <laughs> to make this, do but it didn't work. <laughs> one day, one day. <laughs> one day. Gang gang. Gang gang! Let's quickly brush past the adult Drinks. The adult section. <laughs> Here we have a lovely wall hanging. This is the Japanese hiragana, yu. And this is typically the symbol for an onsen, which is one of our favourite things to do in Japan. Make sure you go to one when you visit. Moving across to obviously le piste de résistance. This is our gyoza neon light. Now this was a present for me from Ashley last year, which I'm pretty happy about. How much do we pay for this apartment for you? We pay about 26,000 yen each, or about, you know, 52,000 yen a month. What's that in pounds, roughly? In, oh, the exchange rate is so bad these days. It's roughly $500. Moving on. Of course we're in Japan. We have the nice Japanese sliding doors. Through this door is our bedroom. What? How did you get there? <laughs> you can do a little loop with these sliding doors. You can go through, obviously that's the front door again, through into the kitchen, and back down again. Now this is the bedroom, and although it only has a bed in it, you know, it, it does the job. It does get quite hot in here though, so we do sleep with the sliding doors open, which means the aircon can you know, blow nice cold air on us, which is nice. Yes, we have the wave like any foreigner that likes Japan. The classic wave. But it does look nice. Wavy. It's wavy. Another noticeable thing about the bedroom is of course the floor. 
we have tatami flooring in this room which is basically some sort of like woven straw it's like traditional flooring and it's a bit annoying because you can't like damage it it's really easy to damage so we put these mats to stop the damage now we're quite lucky in that we only have one tatami room however we have friends here who have all of their rooms tatami so they have to be extraordinarily careful not to spill anything as you can see we have pretty huge amounts of storage these are for people that have futons they roll them up and put them in here so this is sort of my area this one here so let's open it up so i actually bought this like stand thing from ikea and it's actually massive this cupboard like I could put my whole arm in, I could get in if I wanted to. You could fit at least 15 people in here. You could fit loads of suitcases, whatever. Okay, now in this room we have one power outlet down here, which is where we charge our phones at night. And an interesting thing about this room is we don't have a light switch. We have this remote. Oh, whoa, they let there be light. So into our last room, this is a storage room and also Theo's gaming cave. Yes, I have the old PS4 set up here with the TV, all second hand of course. And in the middle here, this is a Japanese kotatsu. It is a heated table, which in the winter is brilliant because you stick your legs underneath and on the bottom side of the table here is a electric heater and so your legs get nice and toasty. It's too hot. Classic Theo's room though, classic boys room. Just a PS4 and a beanbag and that's it. That's all he needs. Say no more. And you can also see our balcony out there. We're not going to show you too much of that. But we have our, um, we've got seats and a table. It's also where we dry our uh, laundry as you might be able to see. And um, if you can see the green, it's because we got like fake AstroTurf to put there. Because it's really nice under your feet, isn't it? It is really nice under your feet. Now a couple more features about this room. We do have lots more storage up top, and you'll just have to ignore this um, <laughs> this thing here. We bought it, I don't know why, why did we buy this? Bought it to like, protect the floor. But we didn't, but it, we didn't want it. We didn't want it because it's horrible. <laughs> and then but, yeah, behind there we do have some more storage. Behind here is like a whole other. This is where I keep all my sort of shirts and stuff. Um, and yeah, apart from that, that's pretty much it. Okay. And that's it. That is our Japanese apartment in Kobe. It's a nice little apartment and we hope you've enjoyed the tour. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not give us a little like? And as always, remember to subscribe to keep up to date with our future videos.